afternoon, everyone. Today is the big day we've all been waiting for. Uh, the Trident has finally arrived and available to the general public, and I'm going to be installing one um, this afternoon on one of our main display tanks. Uh, so far, I've unboxed it. Uh, this is what the main unit looks like right here. Um, nice, compact, uh, sleek-looking design. Um, I'm going to get more into the installation and the ins and outs of it uh, uh, while I'm, after I'm operating, or updating my operating system. But uh, uh, from what I've seen so far, is a tray that pulls out, and uh, these three little tubes connect to the different reagents. And uh, we'll just kind of figure it out as we go here. But what comes along with the unit is you get two of the alkalinity reagent uh, jugs, uh, one of the calcium and one of the magnesium. I'm guessing uh, that you're going to be doing alkalinity testing more frequently, so they supply more off the bat. Um, and they come up, uh, comes with a calibration fluid too as well. So as soon as my operating system is updated, we'll go ahead and uh, get the installation started. Um, we also have two hoses that come with it. The black is the feed hose. It's a five foot hose. And uh, it's not to be shortened at all. Um, and what this does is it takes water out of the tank and brings it into the unit for testing. And then the clear hose is uh, disposes of the waste product. So. Uh, this is uh, the new Neptune Trident. Uh, we just got it in this morning and have it hooked up and have had a chance to play with it. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what it does, why uh, we feel that everyone should have one, and uh, I guess what they look like. So uh, this is the actual Trident unit here. It's uh, nice and compact. It has a drawer um, right here that pulls out uh, in the front. And it has the three different types of reagents that are um, hooked up to uh, really easy screw on caps. So in the back they have the C reagent, which is for magnesium testing, the B reagent, which is for calcium testing, and the A reagent for alkalinity testing. So um, on the interface that uh, Apex has, uh, so Fusion, uh, I'll show you, uh, it does have a component on it that tells you approximately how many tests you have left. So you won't have to guess when this needs to be changed out. So this slides back in here um, and snugly fits like that. Uh, on the back of the unit, they have a black input tube. What this does is we have this ran into the overflow on this video. What this does is it draws water from your aquarium um, into the unit itself so the test can be administered to the water. It then has this clear waste tube. Uh, this waste tube then uh, basically puts the water in a container that's already been tested. So it's mixed with the reagents and this is the waste water that is left over after the tests are done. So a key thing to know about the feeding the, the, the feed tube for the uh, test itself is that it comes factory at five feet and that cannot be altered in any manner. So um, I just have the excess tucked into the overflow and this is how we have this set up. So, so far um, we've uh, ran a couple manual tests. There's uh, different uh, modes that you have the ability to use. You can do minimum of four tests a day and then you can set what time you want those tests to be carried out and you can go uh, up from there if you want to test more frequently, although four is going to be more than enough for most people. And uh, I'll show you what the interface looks like on Fusion. And uh, what it, uh, it looks like this, so this is on uh, the apex that controls our front tank at the store and also our uh, wall tank. So here it shows your alkalinity, your calcium and your magnesium. So this is going to upload this information as it becomes available um, based on the test you have scheduled. And then you can click on this button here um, and it's gonna graph all that information too as well for each one of the individual tests. You can click on the little gear uh, here to set your schedule. So as it stands right now, we have four tests uh, set to occur during the day. At midnight, we're gonna do alkalinity, calcium and magnesium. At 6 a.m., alkalinity will be retested. At noon, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium will be retested. And then finally at 6 p.m., the alkalinity will be done again. Um, so another thing here, uh, you can click on each one of these. It shows the percent that you have left in your uh, reagent solutions. So <coughs> roughly 95% on the alkalinity, 97% on the calcium and magnesium. You can click on it, uh, each one then, and it shows that you have 121 tests approximately left uh, for your unit. So. Um, getting to why uh, we feel this is a game changer and why everyone should have one 
basically this unit is able to talk to the Apex uh, or to the Neptune dose unit. So uh, what you'll be able to do, and they don't recommend doing it until after you've had this run for seven to 10 days and your testing results have shown to be consistent. After that point in time, you can link this to your dosing pump. And what you're able to do then at that point is set the parameters that you want your dosing unit to dose to. So you can input your alkalinity, your, calcium, your desired alkalinity, calcium or magnesium, and then the dosing pump and the trident will speak to one another um, and basically keep those levels where you uh, where your inputs were set at. So um, to us, uh, the most uh, key component of keeping an aquarium is stability. And uh, that right there, I guess, speaks to where we feel is uh, the most important uh, element that this is gonna serve. It's gonna serve uh, or give you the ability to know where your parameters are at without guessing. It's highly accurate. And then more importantly, if you have it connected to a dosing pump, you're not going to have any swings in your parameter. It is the the four, uh, four daily testings will keep your um, parameters nice and stable. So, well, thank you very much. I uh, look forward to getting more of these in, and uh, we'll keep on posting on Facebook when more are available. We're sold out right now, as everyone else is around the country, and um, we will uh, keep on trying to get as many as we can. So, thank you.